Do you ever wonder why your entitled boss can't seem to notice that you're having a bad day? Well, new research indicates that individuals perceiving their social status as higher tend to be worse at perceiving the emotions of others, which to me is not particularly shocking, but there is some fascinating details that we're gonna dive into today. So what the study author Victoria K. Lee and her colleagues wanted to answer was, is better use of social cognitive abilities something that is a characteristic of people with lower social status, or is it something that will advance one's social status, meaning that people with higher social status will have better social cognitive abilities? So they did this experiment on about 1,200 U.S. adults. The average age was 38. About half of them were male, half female, mostly white. 50% declared themselves as Democrats, which means probably 40 to 45% declared as Republicans. Uh, you got a pretty big sample size here, pretty broad uh, base amongst genders and ideological biases. And they asked them to do two emotion perception tests, one examining their ability to perceive the emotion of individuals, and the other examining their ability to perceive the emotions of groups, and then a control test. After which they were asked a series of subjective questions about their social status, and this was measured using the MacArthur Social Status Scale, which is something that psychologists would typically use. And the end result here is that individuals who self-reported their social status, with the emphasis on that self-reporting, that's very important, uh, tended to be worse at perceiving emotions expressed by individuals. So the higher up their social status was, the worse they were at perceiving emotions by single individuals. However, this association did not extend to perceptions of groups or the non-social perception test. This is a very preliminary finding, but it does support the perspective that social status shapes emotional perception abilities. But importantly, this relationship depends on one's subjective sense of their status, not necessarily their actual status. And to add Drifter's little tidbit onto this that isn't part of the article, that makes total sense. The higher up you are in social status, the less important it is for you to notice the emotions of others because your actions have significantly less consequences. If you're a medieval peasant, simply looking at the king the wrong way could get you hung, whereas the king isn't even required to notice that anybody else is having problems. That's just not his job and it doesn't really affect his life. That's an extreme example, but I think it holds up in this study. 